Hi everyone, welcome back to Bukio TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on so anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you. Hello guys, in this video I'll be sharing three videos with you and please make sure you watch till the end. The first one is that it frees raising money for a little child that has um, high cancer. The father has been to, you know, so many places. He has been to so many pastors to help him raise just 1.7 million naira to do the surgery for this boy. But he said none of the pastors were able to help him. One of the pastors prayed for the child and said, man you can go your child is healed i mean this is what i am saying and this is what a lot of us are saying that it's really sad when people raise these pastors and you know give them warning every time and at the end of the day they cannot help people that really need the help most i will let you watch the video now and i will be back thank you hello everyone um we are here again with Shadrach. our little brother Shedrak. How are you, Shedrak? How are you? He's very shy. Little Shedrak has a form of cancer in his eye. And um, I'm here with his dad. And his dad is going to tell us all, uh, he's going to tell us his story. So. Let's see how we can help him. All right. So please introduce yourself, sir. And my name is Michael. I am from Kosovo, Kalaba. Um, I'm a sailor by profession. Um, I was last year, no, year before last, in 2017, I was in the sea when my wife called me that he has a ball in his eye. Hmm. So I have to fly the next chopper out. To see what happens to him. When I came to the house, I saw him with the eyes swell up. I have to get some drugs for him. Antibiotics. Uh, giving antibiotics cannot solve the problem. The more the eyes growing. So my friend asked me, he has, he has the eye cleaning. I took him to my friend that has eye cleaning. So my friend said, I should go and do MRI. So when I do MRI, he says cancer. Since then, I've spent a little, I have a little money I have. I've sold my car to survive him. From there, I took him, I took him to City of David and begged the man of God to help me out and so that he can survive it. He could not do anything. I took him to Present House to help me to so that he can survive the concert. He did not answer me. Of course, um, we, we encourage the, the churches he mentioned, City of David and the Present House, to also share their own side of the story if if they have a counter claim where else did you take him to i, I took him to us on the rock hmm. to the office i explained everything i was crying i was on tears you see the second pastor which is next to pastor paula the pharisee was just he just prayed for him he said i should go that is ill he could not do any i've tried to explain to him that I have to take him to youth for treatment. They did not give me anything. They don't even help him out up to date. That's why I decided. Somebody told me about daddy, daddy freeze. So I have to come to um, their office. I was begging him. I was crying, telling him to help my son so he can survive this cancer. So I thank God for him. He has God fear his mind. He helped me so that he can survive it. Thank you. Um, so we're going to start uh, contributions for little Shedrach. Uh, he needs about 1.7 million. Uh, no amount is too small. Your 1,000 Naira, for all you know, will be able to buy a one medication here, one medication there. Um, remember, in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, if you read from 31.
each time you helped the least of the brothers of Christ who are sick, you have helped Christ. So a lot of you think that you help Christ by paying tithe or giving offering to churches. No, this is what he said. This is a little sick boy. His father came crying. I was there with my daughter the day he came. He was in tears. He gave us the entire documentation of Shedrach's illness. Shedrach, look at the camera. You can see that this boy is not pretending. If his father can pretend, but the boy cannot. This is a four-year-old child. This is retinoblastoma, cancer of the eye. The boy needs one more session of chemotherapy next week before he goes into surgery. We can pray all we want, but if we don't reach out to this little child, we're as good as useless. We don't have to give him all the money. If we can, I'll be so grateful to show that where everybody else has failed, we haven't failed. I'll be more than elated for us to gather 1.7 million and make sure, and here's the thing, you have to show us all the treatments. Brother Chris is going to follow up with you. We are not giving you money to buy a car. We are not giving you money to buy television. We don't want to give you money to buy DSTV. We want Shedrach. You see, if this boy is healed, and if this boy gets the best in life, he will buy you those things. So concentrate primarily on his healing. Please. Thank you everyone for being a part of this. You know, charity is our religion. Take a look at what's printed on my back. James chapter 1 verse 27. Widows, orphans, people in need. Helping them is our religion. Make it your religion too. God bless you. The second on the list is this man's video that went viral about a week ago. Um, the little child in his hand is his son and the child has a hole in his heart. This man needed about 15 million naira to do a heart surgery for the child to fly him out of the country. He also went to many pastors to help him. The pastors did not help him. He said a pastor gave him 10,000 naira. What can 10,000 Naira do out of 15 million Naira? This is another one. He has been to pastors and none of the pastors were able to help him. So the good Samaritans, the good Nigerians raised 70 million Naira within 24 hours. How amazing is that? This is what I'm saying. We should support one another. We should be our brother's keepers. I'll let you guys watch this video. And I will be back for the third one. Now go build house cleaning. Tell me, don't go one day. Don't go salvation ministry. If you meet a wife one on one like this, as me and she talk, give give twenty thousand naira. Now if you meet a wife, give me. Eh? I don't go this Catholic church for Catholic ministry. How much did the father give me? Ten thousand naira. Now father give me. I don't go to the church. They say we need to carry this boy travel outside the country. I don't go Kano Heart Foundation. I don't go do the Bridge Foundation. Here you go talk where I never go. Say one thing, make I answer you. Talk one place where you pray to talk to another go. Here you go talk. Open my mouth, open your mouth, talk where I never go. Commission of information, they are where. Commission of health, they are where. Graduate, you have been looking for a job. You're done with service and you do not have a job. Raise your hand. Graduates, you don't have a job. Come and stand there. I'll pray for you and I'll give you money. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Yeah. The video you just finished watching is a video of Pastor Suleiman sharing money to the unemployed graduates in the church. So what do you have to say about that, guys? I believe that shouldn't have happened. I believe you should have, you know, create employment for them instead of sharing money to them because that money, they will finish spending it and when they finish, spending that money what would happen after that leave your comments in the comment section below let's keep the conversation rolling thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye